I have a question for you guys. What is black, white, and red all over? Well, technically a sunburnt penguin, but also these. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the new fire and ice pack colorways of the Nike Tiempo Legend 7. The first colorways of the Legend 7 and really just the new generation of Tiempos to not feature a black leather upper. You can get it in red and you can get it in this really nice blue. We'll take a closer look at the colorways of course, talk a little bit about performance and tech specs as well as how they fit and feel on feet. So if you want to learn more, stick around and watch the entire video and if you're interested in either of these two shoes for yourself you can click the little pop-up in the corner of the screen or the first link down below in the description that'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive sr4u coupon codes where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal 230 dollar retail price string bags the blue pair comes with a blue string bag the red pair comes with the red string bag let's move on Starting off with the ice pack colorway, basically the front half of the shoe, which includes the leather, the laces, and the fly knit tongue, features this bright gamma blue color, which looks really, really interesting. It's kind of like a sky blue, but it's got a little bit of a greenish tinge to it, almost like a teal, I would say, but it also looks kind of like a sky blue, depending on the lighting. Really, really unique colorway. And then of course, as it transitions into fly knit, you have that fade from the gamma blue into what is basically a dark navy blue with little extra white detailing that kind of fit the ice or snow theme of this particular shoe. You're gonna find the Tiempo branding in white across the back, white swoosh with the gamma blue outline on either side. And then of course, the sole plate. It's supposed to be navy blue. It kind of looks black in most lighting. Maybe in this video it'll look blue. And then you have translucent studs with the interior of the stud at the front being a nice white color, which accents quite nicely, but the studs after a few wears are gonna look stained anyway. So it's not a super noticeable detail, but nonetheless, very good looking colorway. The other half of the pack is of course, Fire, which features a red theme. So the front half of the shoe, again, including the leather, the laces, and the fly knit tongue, is a pretty typical red, kind of what you would expect. The leather has more of a matte finish to it, I would say. And then the fly knit area, perhaps a little bit more unique on this particular colorway, features red that slowly fades into black. So you actually get to see the intricacy of the fly knit a little bit more clearly on this shoe than you do on the ice version. Uh, you, of course, have a white Nike swoosh with the uh, red outline on either side, the white Tiempo branding there at the back. And then the sole plate is kind of more of a bright orange color rather than red, which actually looks okay with the rest of the shoe. And then translucent stud tips with little black interior bits on the front half of the stud pattern. All in all though, really, really good looking colorway. I'm gonna leave a little pop-up poll in the corner of the screen where you guys can actually vote for your favorite, the fire pack or the ice pack for the Nike Tiempo Legend 7. If you're asking my preference, I actually prefer the fire pack in this particular situation, mainly because I like the look of red boots in general, but I think that the fly knit fading from red to black just makes this look that much better to me. Although the blue ones are definitely really, really nice. And honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with either of these two colors. But for me, if I had to pick, it would be the fire pack. In regards to performance, the Nike Tiempo Legend 7 is my personal favorite soccer cleat, which you would know if you regularly watch my videos. However, we're not gonna go into too much detail in this video in regards to performance details and tech specs. Really what the Legend 7 is all about is combining the classic soft feel and touch that you would expect from a more old school kangaroo leather shoe with the modern, lightweight, not so bulky, very responsive feel and fairly aggressive traction that you would expect from a more modern shoe. That's kind of what the Legend 7 combines better than any other shoe out there. It really does have it all to a certain extent. Not to say that this is the best shoe for everybody, but if you're a fan of leather boots, but at the same time you don't like to give up what modern soccer cleats have on offer. I really think that the Legend 7 is an amazing compromise. So if you do wanna learn more about the overall performance characteristics, or you just wanna see the shoes in action, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen to my playtest video up on the channel, where I go over all the details that you need to know. All right, so as you can see, I swapped out the laces on the Fire Pack colorway instead of the stock red ones. It now has wide black reflective SR4U replacement laces, which has the reflective bit and also the black accents really nicely with the black accents you'll find on the shoe predominantly in the heel anyways if you are interested in a pair of sr4u laces for yourself the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com there'll be a little pop-up on screen 
as well as a link down below in the description. So if you're interested in a pair, be sure to go ahead and check that out. On feet, the Legend 7 feels really, really good. There's not a whole lot of break-in time required. The only thing you'll notice, as with pretty much any leather shoe, is leather will actually get softer and stretch to your foot as you break them in. With the Legend 7, because it has that fit mesh liner in the forefoot, the reinforcement, plus the flywire cables, they're not gonna stretch a ton, but they will still mold to the shape of your foot as you would expect a leather shoe to do. The fit in the heel is awesome. I love the heel liner on this particular shoe. The fly in it um, tongue really does wrap across the top of your foot really, really closely, leaving no extra space whatsoever. And again, the overall comfort of the box is very, very good. Minimal break-in time required, I would say. As far as the width is concerned, they've got a decent amount of width to them. I would say that these are gonna be suitable for most people, even if you do have wider feet. I don't see too many people struggling with the fit of this shoe. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size nine and a half US, which is what I regularly wear in Tiempos, as the line does run about a half size small. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I would recommend going a half size up in order to achieve the best possible fit. Anyways guys, that is it for my review of the Fire and Ice Pack colorways of the Nike Tiempo Legend 7. Again, if you're interested in either of these two shoes for yourself, you can click the first link down below in the description. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. We'll be able to pick these up below their normal $230 retail price. Any questions as always, leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. For daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear, you can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.